Hello everyone, in peace of Christ, all of you, please invite your friends. And today our topic is extremely important. Actually, it is a matter of a global security, not only national security. So if you have a you know if you are a person who is in contact with FBI or Homeland Security in USA, or if if you are a Pakistani citizen, you know Pakistan, you know call the Taliban, you know just let them join. So we can discuss what we can do because we have a big risk, you know, uh, in this earth. It's a huge risk. This person you see in the front of you, in the screen, Allah, he announced jihad on him. Now, not only he looks so dangerous and scary, now don't fool yourself like he is so small, right? Yeah, but look at him. Is making fun of Allah. This coward got red handed trying to kill a prophet. And uh, we have a Muhammadan in the chat, he said. His name is Farhan. <laughs> The funny, the word Farhan means happy. I never saw a Muslim, he's happy. <laughs> Since when? <laughs> the proof that you are happy, you are coming by millions to the West. I mean, do you see how happy you are? So Mr. Farhan, he said, and this is the refutation of the Abdul, you know. Farhan, Christian Brands, no matter how hard you try, you cannot put down the light of Allah. My friend, if Allah have a light, how come you are blind? And as long as no, no matter how hard I can try, so why are you Muslims so upset from what I do? Let me try. I mean, as long as it's not going to work anyway. But look, Farhan, is it your prophet, he says, Islam is taught as a you know, small religion and will end as a small religion? So are you saying your prophet was a liar? Thank you. I agree. <laughs> so we go back to our topic, and Farhan is boiling now. Like, what the heck? This guy, he is going to put the light of Allah? Well, if a lizard can put the light of Allah. Have you ever heard of a lizard? He burned a prophet. Or he tried. And you are telling me the light of Allah. Is that the light of Allah or the light of the fairy tale of Allah? By the way, Allah has a tail. I can prove it to you. The light of Allah. This is the light of Allah. The light of Allah that we should call lizard. And the light of Allah that lizard is the biggest enemy. And the light of Allah is the one who hit a lizard and kill him from the first shot. He will get 100 uh, a deposit in his bank account in the deeds of Allah. This is the light of Allah. I know, I'm so disappointed of you, Farhan. I thought you would say, um, you know, uh, this is the stupidity of Allah. This is the madness of Allah. This is the fairy tale of Allah. But this is, if this is the light of Allah, so what is the stupidity? Now, actually, I encourage Christians to save all reference today we will share with you. Because this is the easiest way to defeat anyone he claims Islam is even a religion. Islam is not a religion. Islam is a collection of fairy tales. And I'm saying to you, you know, please save the reference we will share with you. Anytime a Muslim he tried to say to you, Islam, 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 say to him, what kind of God? His enemy is a lizard. And how, I mean, how silly, how stupid. How dummy, a lizard in the size of my finger. First of all, lizards are very useful for us. They are very useful for, you know, even, even around your house. Even if they are inside the house, they are harmless. Lizard, they are the enemy of insects. Farmers, they would love to see lizard around their plant. They don't eat their plant, they eat the, they eat the insect, they are killing their plant. So how in the world Mr. Lizard became the enemy of this God, so-called Allah? Let us go and read the wisdom of a Prophet Muhammad. And remember, the Prophet is the Prophet of wisdom and dumb together. 
which is a very nice, I mean, cocktail. Like he's a whiz, you know, like he's the one, the whiz, you know, about magic, you know, you eat seven ajwa, no magic can kill you. And then he died by magic. Sorry, he died, he died by poison. No, ma no, no magic can hurt you and no poison can kill you. And later we f we'll find that Muhammad, he was under black magic according to Muslims and he killed by, uh, you know. So anyway, we go back and we see, I mean, what is the background of this? I mean, how things go so down to Allah? I mean, imagine I will open a channel, Christian Prince waging war in lizard. Like, I mean, people will laugh at me, man. You see that even some people, they say to me, oh, uh, like this guy, what's his name? Uh, Uthman, why you don't talk about him? I said, he's the size of a lizard for me. And I, somebody shared with me a video, little tiny, he's answering, uh, you know. He, he said to a Christian, uh, Christian Prince fan, the Christian Prince fan, he said to him, well, Muhammad did not marry Aisha, the son of Muta, he answered. He said, I have a hundred whatever reference I can show you. Well, where, where are they? All Muslims agree that Muhammad never married Aisha. So there is, there is who they are trying to refute us. They are not even in the size of a lizard. This is why they don't dare to speak to us. They don't dare to call us. And they are hiding between the bushes. And Mary, the cook, never was a wife of Muhammad. And here you ask yourself, why somebody uh, he claimed to be a believer, he's lying about it. Because this is proof Muhammad to be a fornicator. According to the Quran, you can only rape women who they are, your right hand process from war. And Mary the Qut, she is not. He did not marry her, but he was jumping on her. And when a Muslim, he tried to hide the truth, that's mean he understand very well that he is a coward and he is defending a coward. A person who is proud about his faith, he will never lie about his faith. Very simple. Extremely simple. We will go back to our topic. But just to show you how those kids, why they are not even worth to, you know, to talk about them. But just to give you an idea. This is an Islamic website. I will put it for you on the screen. This is the, those are the scholars, you know, the dummy. Not the, the, the potato. What the Muslim scholars, they say about this? Open this link with me. I will post it for you in the chat. It's in Arabic, but you can use Google Translation. So the sons of Mutaz, they can read it. Al-Islam su'alun wa jawab. If somebody can find me the same article in English, because I believe this website have the same article in English and in Arabic. If somebody can find it, that would be even better. Question, was Mary the uh, one of the mother of the believers when she was one of the wives of Muhammad? A Muslim asking the question. And what we would do, we would use Google Translation. As simple as that. And you will see in a second that the son of Muta, who claimed that he can refute us, this is why he don't dare to call us and he don't dare to let us call him. He is just a coward. You know, he was saying to a Christian woman, the Bible says, uh, you're a property, human being is a property. The whole Quran saying a human being is a property, you donkey. Coward. Muta boy. This is the question and this is the answer translated as it is in Google Translation. And this is the fatwa number. Here you see the number of the, the fatwa mean like a, from a high authority answer. So the Prophet may Allah praise on him. You see the writers they say to, to you that Allah, he, he, he bless him. This is a translation. This is the truth. Allah, he pray on Muhammad. <laughs> he did not marry, marry the court. She was his slave. Potato. And here all the reference for this, such a donkey liar. So when they lie about what their religion teach, it's a great sign for us Christians. We are victorious and the light of Allah is under our shoes. Because if the light of Allah is powerful, then Muslims should not be ashamed of such a light. Here we go. We put the light 
on their books and this is their website and this is not me talking cowards they have no dignity we go back to mr lizard how you how you do lizard hey lizard how do you feel about you became number one wanted for the abdul in the world i mean aren't you proud man you didn't beat me in that i mean muhammad he didn't say if you kill a christian prince you will get 100 deeds he said that about you i mean i can tell that you are so excited and so happy but you know what the stories goes way beyond and today we will take you to a different level but let us go to a little bit to the background of the dummy muhammad or the dummy story here we see some of the reference which is muslims agreed upon and it is authentic uh, remember anything is embarrassment to islam the muslim they say to you right away there's a word they use it's called weak but we even weak is accepted but because islam is a weak religion they have a weak prophet whose penis was not working and then he invoked his god and allah he sent him a dish of shish kebab he ate it and his penis like boing like boing 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 he cannot even steam amazing who can stop the light of allah which come in a dish of a shish kebab to solve a problem of a penis nobody i mean let us face it have you ever heard of a god he said a dish of shish kebab so he can fix a penis of a prophet and then the prophet he ate the dish of shish kebab and the funny his daughter ate it too Okay, so the prophet, his penis get the power of 40 men, but when though his daughter, she got, she ate from the same dish what she did. It's just a question. Did she get the power of 40 men too? Oh boy, I don't want to be around her. <clears throat> Umm Sharik told that God messenger ordered Gaigo, like Gaigo? But man, you guys go to the Muhammad FBI website, Mujahideen. Guy go alarm, guy go alarm, jihad, Allahu Akbar, takbir. And then ISIS will bring uh, a guy go and they will slaughter him. Hmm. Uh, we have a Muslim, we encourage all Muslims, by the way, to make a, uh, to make a comment. Uh, Mr. Submission, Islam is submission. Yeah, you can say Islam is a submission to stupidity and the proof in front of your eyes. And the proof that Islam is a submission to stupidity, look what I'm talking about and you cannot answer me. I want an answer. Do you really believe that Mr. Geigo, he tried to kill Abraham? Islam is, you know, you are deluded. Okay, I feel sorry for you. You are food. You know, the one how I feel sorry for, for you. If you feel sorry for yourself, you will have endless penis. I mean, is that a penalty or a reward? Who will carry it for you? You tell me. It's a challenge for every Muslim to tell me how you can carry an endless penis. You feel sorry for me. Feel, so, feel sorry for your penis. Your penis will be dragged in the floor and cars will go over it. People will spit on it. And on the top of that, guy go will chew it. Because he will think it's an insect because it's so small, but it's so long. You feel sorry for me? Are you sure? I mean, are you sure? Guys, I need to go and get some tissues because I just noticed. Mean, look how Muslim they feel. They feel sorry for me. I thought you want to kill me. Now you feel sorry for me? Feel sorry for yourself. You go to the heaven, women, they jump in the top of you. I'm not going to describe the video, what it's saying. I can show you the video on YouTube. One, well, she will be sucking you. <clears throat> and the other one will be sucking you. <coughs> and the other one is sucking you. <coughs> I can't say it. And you feel sorry for me? No comment. So we go back. To the real story, the light of Allah. So the messenger of Allah, he ordered Gaigos to be killed, saying that Gaigo blow in Abraham. That's that is what behind this enmity. I don't know how many of you watch cartoon. I like cartoon, you know. But this is not even a car. This is not even a tune. This is a stupid platoon.
And this story, but is not mentioned in details in the Quran, as you see in the reference there, chapter 21, verse number 68. Now we know what happened. See, the Quran did give us details, but the details in the bushes. Abraham, he was captured. The enemy of Allah tried to put the light of Allah, which is coming through the mouth of Abraham, and they wanted to burn Abraham. But who is the one behind this? Gaigo. Who is the filthy behind this conspiracy of assassination? Gaigo. And the funny, many of you, they have insurance from a company it's called Gaigo. Shame on you, Muslims. You buy from Gaigo? Like what? Why you do that? And remember, nobody can put down the light of Allah. But you know what? I'm still, I don't want, I did not get the whole picture of this. What is the whole picture? Let us see more, you know. The Prophet of Allah, he ordered to kill guy goes to be killed. Calling it the Nachos. Is that like a Mexican food? Like anchos? Say, I don't know, something like something like he called it what? I don't know if I'm saying the word correctly. Excuse my English, you know, as, as you know, my English is funny, the same as. Uh, uh, my Chinese Allah he order to kill that guy go yeah ah guys Mr. Submission he just gave us a news look what the news supposedly a Muslim he's answering now I mean I like it when a Muslim he got me busted This is Mr. Submission. I'm assuming he is Mr. Zach and I. Christopher, your argument is against Islam. And very weak. And greedy. No wonder Muslim scholars don't like to engage with you. You are really an opinion, really an opinion of a Muslims. In this penis is not a hadith. Look, I really an opinion of a Muslim. So you Muslim, you have an opinion that you will have a you will have a penis in this, and now I am the one who's wrong? You just said that the Muslims is the one who says that. <laughs> Secondly, you idiot. As long as you are saying to me, this is not Sahih Hadith. So why you Muslims, you collect it and you put it in your book? And then Christian Prince will read it and your kids will read it. And Muslim will believe it. So look at this stupidity. We Muslims, we write what the Prophet said. For 14 centuries, those writing was accepted. Today, it's an embarrassment. It's a stupid, it's a dummy. So we have to spit at it and say, we deny it, we, I do not know you. Hey man, you are the one who borrowed from me $50 last week. Uh, uh, last week? I wasn't even born last week. Like what? How old are you? Um, you know, I'm 80 years old. So last year, what are you? Yeah, I wasn't born because simply I'm born, and today I became born again. <laughs> Abdul. You just admitted that Islam is a lie and Muslims are a bunch of liars and they fabricate stories against their prophet. And let us see how this story is not reliable or let us say Sahih. It is not Sahih, but in your, in the, the heck? It says Sahih in front of me. So why it is not Sahih, but it is Sahih? Is that your website? Is that Al-Bukhari? Like what? Is that Sahih or not? I mean, they call the book the book of Sahih. They call Al-Bukhari is the most authentic book. And then brother, the second you show them something very embarrassing, they say it is not Sahih. Look at the reference. All those are books of Sahih. Me. Mm. Yeah. 
your wife she don't want to listen to you she want to believe in Muhammad oh, okay you are a lucky person my friend is she killing wizard now or she is home tell her if she believe in Muhammad she better buy a sword and go around the house to kill lizard actually Aisha she was doing that you know read with me carefully how important it is to kill a geigo or a salamander or a lizard the prophet of Allah he said whoever kills a house lizard with one blow will have such and such a reward Muslims we just received from the order order from the Prophet of Allah coming from the God Allah who have the absolute light and truth that we should kill lizard please grab your weapon mm. what a stupid religion when I'm making the Bible channel I will do but you guys are not encouraging me I mean look I, we make a video nobody watch if you are not coming I mean there you want to you know we make a priceless videos I mean you go and watch all those who speak about Islam they have no idea what they are talking about just because I don't show myself in the, in the, in the camera people don't watch I don't know people they like images you know people are like very uh, uh, photographic mentality this is why people they put Photoshop image in the thumb of the videos or they make you click because you are a fool and you are a dummy and they trap you by an image have nothing to do with the video go watch which videos have the highest view is the video a woman she have a naked back a video wearing bikini a video of women bending over that is the truth but anyway mr. guy go is not going to get your support because he don't have a nice ass reality check he don't have nice legs reality check and he don't have big boobs reality check so the crowd they like images and those images have to be either sexual or sexual this is why Muhammad he understand the filthy mind of a human being so what he promised them endless penis and unlimited numbers of hookers and those hookers the Quran says they have big boobs which is I mean something you have to appreciate You see, for me, I don't think about things in a sexual way when I speak about those big boobs which Allah He promised us. I find it in different level. Let us say you are a person who live in a flooding zone and the flood come. How and where you are going to hold yourself? You will hang on what? What is going to make you float in the top of the flooding water? We saw flood in America, flood in Indonesia, flood all over, you know. If you have such a woman with such a huge boobs and with some peak and trick, like some put some air inside those boobs, they are big, huge. You will never die from drowning. I'm telling you. The Christian, they say, this is about sexual and it's a shame. What kind of God he says we will give you big boobs? This is not about big boobs for sex, brother. This is about we are preparing for the coming big flood. Global warming is coming. And they say to us, Islam is a religion. This God, he promised me, if I believe in him, he doesn't even say the word women, by the way, in translation, they say the word women. He promised me, if I get to believe in him, he will give me big boobs. He did not even say the word women. 
You see, if you read Arabic, nowhere it says women. There's no women. And then what is next to the big boobs? Full cup to the brim. Like what the heck to the brim? I mean, you know what? I thought Allah is cheap. And now I got it. He is not a cheap. He is going to give me a full cup to the brim. Let us brim together. Imagine, brother, we go to the heaven now, brother, and we have women with big boobs, brother. Actually, there's no women. There's big boobs on the table. Nowhere it says women, by the way. Nowhere here it says women. It says big boobs. So we sit in the table together, brother, alhamdulillah, after we join ISIS and Al-Qaeda and then, you know, and do this about bombing, brother. And then, brother, Allah, he provide us with big boobs in the table and a cup full to the brim. Why we will get the big boobs? The good question. One of the Muslim believers asking himself, brother, because we are going to kill Mr. Geigo. You see, the prophet says, you will have a hundred reward if you kill him from the first hit. That's a hundred boobs. So brother, enjoy yourself. You work hard to fight the lizard, to find him, to kill him. You walk around your house, you flip the couches. Where is the lizard? You coward son of Muta lizard, come here if you are a man. The lizard, you look like I'm not coming. Come, you come here. The Abdul, he said to him, come here or I will curse you. The lizard, he will say, well, you strip it. I am already a lizard. What you will make me? <laughs> and you believe it or not, the Muslim they go so far in their hatred to the Jews. And you believe it or not, the Muslim they believe that lizard was a Jewish woman. What the heck? Brother, are you sure, brother? Absolutely, brother. Some of you might say this is going to be true. Okay, let me find you some reference. I just remember that. And as long as I remember it, I need to find you that proof. <clears throat> okay. Oh, I found you even a better. <whistles> Brother. I found you the terrorist website of the government of what they call it Palestine, the Palestinian territory. In the top here it says, Al Majlis al Islami lil Ifta al Dakhil al Palestini. Those are people who live inside Jerusalem. Can you believe it? This is a website for them. Question. What is the lizard? And why we should kill it? And why is like, why it's, it, it's uh, you know, uh, encouraged to kill it? Let us use Google browser so we can translate for you. I will post the link for you guys in the chat so you can save it. Translate to English. Okay. What is Geigo? And why it is from the Sunnah to kill it? Sunnah means the, 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 the steps of the, of the penis of Muhammad. Like you do whatever his penis does. And why did the lawgiver, lawgiver, in Islam there is a lawgiver, which means Allah, encourage to, it's killing, killing, okay. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, blah, 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 okay. Uh, Geigo is a prisoner, blah, 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 like uh, the, the, the giving description now. This is a scientific description. And now we go back to like the story. Let us zoom in a little bit. 
I don't know if the text is clear for you guys, but in the authority of Abu Huraira, Abu Huraira mean the, the Abu mean the father, Huraira mean cat, so he have a lot of cats, he used to molest them. Who said that the messenger of Allah be upon him? Whoever kill a guy go from the first blow for him, such a such a reward, blah 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 blah. And now they quote you many, many references for the same story. Alright. But where is the where it says that the Jews, the lizard was a Jew? Let us go down. <clears throat> Um, let us see. <laughs> People, are you reading with me? The light of Allah. Are we reading together? This is Google translation, you know. We can read in Arabic for him, as you know, Arabic, you know, it's my first language. And we are using Google Translation because simply, you know, this is the only way to translate. <clears throat> Here is the answer why you should kill this lizard. Because Allah, I need to try to find uh, what translation for Masakha. Masakha is like, you know, one, uh, you transform a, per, transform a person from a human being to something else, like animal or cockroach or something. So because she was a Jewish, like the, the, the answer why? Why it's been ordered to kill that lizard or the lizard in general? Because the first lizard who tried to burn the house or the first person who tried to burn a house of Abraham was a Jewish woman. And then Allah, he cursed her and he make her a lizard. And she is a poisoned woman. This is how we have lizard. It was a Jewish woman. And then in you know, those Jewish women, after she became a lizard, she started having babies. So uh, the one we showed you on the screen here, this is descendant according to the hateful Muhammad, the racist Muhammad, from a Jewish woman. Now let me give you the link, because the Abdul, they might say, it doesn't say that, ZV. I don't know how many of you is saving reference. And as you see, the website says fatwa. Fatwa means holy order. This is serious. This is not a joke. This is not a kid in, in the internet posting a link. This is a serious explanation so the lizard was a Jewish woman who tried to kill Abraham question to the Abdul if there's any one of them is using his brain but Abraham is the grandfather of the Jews which means there was no Jews so how the Jews they were trying to kill Abraham when they are not born yet Can somebody call the dummy Muhammad and tell him to speak to the dummy Allah and tell him to stop being stupid and idiot? How a Jewish woman, she tried to kill Abraham when she is the grand, 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 grand daughter of Abraham and there was no Jews yet. Like how far the stupidity can go? But the brother, the Christian, they say everything is possible for God. I say about Allah, every stupidity is possible with Allah. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat hurt. Thank you, Lord, for the water. <coughs> Those fatwas are backing by the Quran and Sahih. Opinion of Mufti. 
without logic. Hey, you see, the Islam submission. Are you like? Are you here? Are you just? Are you here just to make fun of Islam? Because it sounds like you are giving me a hand. You know, it sounds fishy. I don't. I don't. Are you really a Muslim? Do you like to call me? Because each time you say something. You do poo poo. It sounds like the, the Muslim. They would say this guy because anyone who leaves Islam, they say he's paid by a Christian prince. You know, I I give Muslims five hamburgers, they leave Islam. Sometimes they change. They exchange Allah for a potato, two pound of potatoes. CP those fatwas have any backing by Quran and Sahih Hadith? You stupid! I just showed you, and they are showing you in the page all the reference which is authentic. The same page. Are they being backed by any listeners? <laughs> hey, so, uh, Islam, take my advice, don't get married. Because if you do, I I believe that four women, they will commit suicide in the first four months. I mean, you are allowed to marry four at the time, right? But according to Shabir Ali, you can marry unlimited. But whoever marry you will jump from a high floor. First, number one advice, don't buy a flat or apartment in a high building. Your wife, she will jump. She will not care. She just want to leave. When I say stupidity is amazing, I mean it. I mean, we are showing the reference. It says there is a hayah. And then the Abdul saying to me, is that based in opinion? Is that the brother based in opinion? Brother? It says Sahih. Is it based in opinion? Or authentic? It says in your website Sahih. It's, it's opinion. Abdul, it says they are authentic. Sahih. It is opinion. You know what? You did beat Zach and Naik with stupid questions and stupid answers. But I thought that. that guy could interpret. He gave that opinion. And it is not authentic. Zach and Naik, it says they are it's authentic. Great Prince, we must the one we say authentic, we mean it's not authentic. Ah, because we are going to trap the enemy. So we make you think it's authentic. So you buy it from us and you try to thread the bullet cut to you because it's fabricated. What the heck? So my friends, <clears throat> I'm really truly convinced that the Prophet of Allah is a serious prophet and Allah is a serious God. And he is telling the truth. And as you see, nobody can stop the light of Allah. Not even a lizard. Even if he looks so dangerous. And by the way, this lizard, now he changed the way he looked like. Now he grow a beard. He's trying to hide, man. Every Muslim in the world is after him. Actually, I heard that there is no lizard. All the lizard in Afghanistan, they jump in the American airplanes when Taliban came to town. Every lizard, they said, oh no, Taliban in town. No future for lizard here. And they apply for refugee. And you know, I, I, I contacted the immigration and I told them, I, you know, because I'm a Christian and this is the enemy of Allah, I will prefer to have 10 lizards as a guest in my house. And I will feed them all the insect they want from my yard for free, no charge. And I have them outside right now. But there's a lack of communication because they don't speak my language. You know, I am an Arab, they are Afghani, you know. You know, like so, they're coming from Afghanistan. Hey, by the way, Muslims, this lizard, they speak Arabic? And imagine different story, it says, that when Abraham, the lizard was, you know, trying to burn him, all the animals in the jungle, they came bringing water to stop the fire, except the wizard, he was blowing it. <laughs> what the heck? And from here we have to notice, and from here we have to certify that Muhammad is a certified idiot. He created a certified stupidity religion. And those who follow Muhammad, they don't use their brain. And if you believe in such a religion, you are, in, you are really a mad person. Lizards are very useful animals. They are very good creatures. 
They kill mosquitoes, they kill cockroaches, they kill all kind of bothering bugs around your house. So why you wanna kill them? Who in the world wanna believe in such a garbage? Right? That's it. You forgot to say that your God failed to defeat the enemy with Charles of Aaron? Uh, okay, you see, we know for us, when we, when we speak about those things, we say, there is always a miracle. This is, this is, uh, you know, this is, uh, uh, when a Muslim, he says he failed. How God, how my God failed? My God, he brought the Jews to their houses after 2,000 years. My God, he defeated you after all the crimes you do. My God, Jesus, he defeat death. Even in your stupid religion, Jesus is alive. So when a Muslim, he speak about defeat, you are the one who is defeated by a lizard. And you know, it's time submission. I offer you to call me, and you are the same coward. I block, you come back. You are like a bug. But you will never dare to call me. People, do you think this guy is submission? This is the same guy, you know, come here always. He's the same coward. Do you think this guy ever would dare to call me? I feel that this guy, he is a known person in YouTube. And he don't dare to call because that will be the end of his history in the past and in the future. Submission? A potato? Do you dare to call me? Right now. And you will give me the verse about God is defeated. In the Bible. Everybody will hear it. Get me busted. Do you dare? Eh, he played dead now. Coward. So, when a Muslim he speak to you about Allah being God, what is the easiest way to defeat such a claim? Tell him that your God, his enemy, is a lizard. How in the world God can be an enemy to the lizard. You see, your enemy, your enemy, tell me how small you are. Hmm? Hey, uh, Tony, how are you? Uh -huh. That's not an answer? Uh -huh. Well, the boy is the one who don't dare to tell me the story and he don't dare to call me boy, son of Muta. You don't dare to call me. You don't tell me, dare to tell me the question. You don't dare to pause the verses so we can laugh at you. And you don't dare to talk about it. So who is the boy? Change your name and come back. So those cowards, and by the way, look what, what they do. The second you show them how embarrassing Islam is, they try to say, okay, well, your belief is embarrassment. Let us say for the sake of argument, this is true. But that will not save the ass of Muhammad. Still, Muhammad is a false prophet. So you just admitted, agreed, that your prophet is a stupid. Allah is a stupid. And because you are so angry, you try to find something supposed to be embarrassment for the Christians, right? But this is stupid of you. Because you're a prophet, you eat it. Son of Muta. He swear by the Torah and he say, I believe in thee and the one who sent thee. So if there's a story in the Old Testament, you think it's an embarrassment for the Christians, then how your stupid prophet, he swear by it. Huh? You see the stupidity? When a Muslim, he try to make a scandal or to make a scene or a drama. Oh, look what your Old Testament says. Your prophet, he swear by it and said, I believe in thee and the one who sent thee. So your stupid prophet, he believe in that story, which is embarrassment according to you. And your stupid prophet says, I believe in thee and the one who sent thee. And this is why you don't dare to call me because the second you call me, I'm going to show you this hadith and you will be in the poo -poo swimming pool. Speaking about Pupu swimming pool, not to forget that your prophet is a crazy man who jumped literally in a pool full of Pupu. Literally, dead dogs and women blood from period. And garbage. All those stories prove to us one thing. A person swear by a book 
of the enemy, saying, I believe in thee and the one who sent thee, one of two, either he is being a hypocrite to them, he don't believe in it, and that will make him again a false prophet, or he is truly a believer, and still that will make him a false prophet, because he said things absolutely false about that book. But imagine a prophet who jump off a swimming pool in the size of a jacuzzi, we cannot call it swimming pool, jacuzzi, and this jacuzzi full of dead dogs, not one dog, dead dogs, women of blood of them, period, and garbage. And when the people, they say to him, hey, Muhammad, what are you doing, man? Muhammad, he gave them an astonishing answer. Water is always pure and nothing make it impure. So when the Muslim, they call themselves Sunni, they are not. Because if they are Sunni, they should jump in a jacuzzi full of dead dogs and women blood from period and garbage. And they should believe that water is always pure. Additional proof that Muhammad was mentally ill. You'll notice here people are questioning him about doing that. Why? Because nobody do that. And then the stupid, this guy, what his name? Submission, Tutu. He will come up with a different name now. He will say, is that authentic hadith or his opinion? It's authentic. He say sahih. <laughs> this is not authentic. It's, you know, it's your book, it says it's sahih. It says it's good, it says authentic, it says wonderful. Sahih. This is why they don't dare to call me. Because whatever they say is going to be used against them in the court of a Christian prince. So my friends, when next time they come to you and say Islam is a good religion, there is a scientific miracle in the Quran, and scientific miracle and science in Islam tell them about the science of the lizard and how God became so small to the point he challenged a lizard. So imagine this, this lizard is standing in the sand and Allah now in the seven heaven, beyond the seven galaxies, he's getting his guns ready and he's walking toward the lizard and you hear the music of the cowboy in the in the back scene of the of the uh, uh, video and, -da 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 -da, and then the cowboy Allah, he take his, his, Allah is so fast in shooting, and he shoot at the lizard, and the lizard says, oh, my heart, my heart, and Allah, he says, yes, it's time for you to die, because you are my enemy. Your God is so small, to the point his enemy is a lizard. I have a you know request to the Muhammadan. Why we don't say why we don't go by millions in the street screaming death to the lizard? What's wrong with you Muslims? You forgot your first enemy. Don't you want to get one hundred reward for killing a lizard from a first hit? And why Allah will lower your reward if you kill him from the second hit or the third hit? Why first hit is high in the Ah, the first head get the first reward. Mm -hmm. If you don't kill him from first head, you wasted one arrow of Allah. And now we have to use another arrow. You are consuming an emission of Allah. That's not right. Now we understand. So with this, I want to say to you guys, thank you very much. Share the video, download it, and don't forget to put a sign in your yard, Muslims. Lizard free zone. If you enter here, we will kill you. Or put a picture of this guy in the front of your yard saying, if you see this guy and you tell us where he is, big reward for you. Or you can publish in a newspaper 
or call Fox News and CNN and potato tomato channels and say to them this person is wanted if you see anyone like him please report to us Sharia police which is YouTube police hey by the way YouTube I hope that this video is not against your rules I mean come on YouTube protect Israel don't you because YouTube is a stupid idiot company run by atheists who they join forces with the devil Muhammad and they take down any videos speaking against Islam and now they will make excuse this is uh, this video is uh, encouraging people to kill lizard look what I'm saying no I'm saying he is a, a useful no according this is a hate crime like what the heck look, where I'm just making fun of it no according to guideline of our YouTube if somebody says read something about killing lizard that is a violation and we will call the police for you you too I mean why they call it you too why don't call it you stupid you tell me thank you very much for being here and don't be you stupid you better you be you smart lizard is a good creature very useful and actually it's the best way chemical free to control the best and control insect in your yard so if you see a lizard in your yard he is a good guest you should be happy to have him he kill hundreds of insects around your house every day he's a guard for you in his time he's an enemy because this is a religion made by a fool for the fool and if a foolish Muhammad or a fool like Muhammad can fool you how foolish are you you tell me thank you God bless you and until we see you soon again Christ is Lord Islam is busy with the lizard and this is the truth take care